to us in this video who will be solving past Wayek Neko Jam questions on density, volume, and Archimedes principle. So let's go. Question one. This mass is two kilograms and has a volume of 500 centimeter cube. Just floats when completely immersed in a liquid. Calculate the density of the liquid. The options are A, 4.0 times 10 raised to the power of 2 kilograms per cubic meter. B, 4.0 times 10 raised to the power of 3 kilograms per cubic meter. C, 1.0 times 10 raised to the power of 3 kilograms per cubic meter. And G, 1.0 times 10 raised to power of 6 kilograms per cubic meter. Solution. First of all, you must start by writing out the known parameters. And the known parameters here are we have the mass to be equal to 2 kilograms, and then the volume of the object is equal to 500 centimeter cube. And this centimeter cube must be changed to SI units. And we now have it to be 500 times. 10 to power minus 6 meter cube. That's what it should give us. Now, when a body floats in a liquid, the weight of that body must be equal to the upthrust. The weight of that body must be equal to the upthrust and which is also equal to the weight of the liquid displaced. Now, weight is mass times gravity which is equal to for the weight of the liquid displaced we are having the density the volume and the gravity so we now have the density of the liquid times the volume in this case we are still using the volume of the object because Archimedes told us that the volume of the object is also equal to the volume of the liquid displaced then times gravity. Gravity will cancel out. We have that mass is now equal to rho times the volume. Making the density subject of the formula, we now have that mass is mass over volume, which will give us 2 all over 500 times 10 to power minus 6 and this gives us 4,000 kilogram per cubic meter that's the answer the correct option here is option b that's the correct option a piece of wood of mass 40 gram a uniform cross-sectional area of two centimeter squares flows upright in water the length of the wood immersed is the options are A, 80 cm, B, 40 cm, C, 20 cm, and D, 2 cm. Solution. First of all, remember, we bring out the known parameters. The mass is given as 40 gram, and then the uniform cross-sectional area is given to us as 2 cm squared. And from our Archimedes principle, we now know that the body will float when the water displaced is equal to its own mass. That is, we have that the mass is now equal to the water displaced. And then that is equal to the volume of the water displaced. And in this case, the volume of the water displaced is the cross, the cross sectional area times the length cross-sectional area times the length and from here we are looking at the we are looking for the length and the length is now equal to mass all over the cross-sectional area which is equal to mass is 40 gram all over a which is 2 cm squared and this will give us 20 centimeter that is our answer so the correct option here is option c a three 
meter cube volume of liquid W of density 200 kg per cubic meter is mixed with another liquid L of volume 7 meter cube and density 150 kg per cubic meter. The density of the mixture is options A 265 kg per cubic meter, B 165 kg per cubic meter, C 100 kg per cubic meter, D 350 kg per cubic meter. First of all, we need to bring out the known parameters. So here, for the liquid W, the volume is 3 meter cube and then the density, that is rho, for the liquid W is 200 kilogram per cubic meter. And then for the liquid L, the volume is given as 7 meter cube and the density, which is rho, for the liquid L is given as 150 kilogram per cubic meter. Now, the next thing, we now find their masses, the mass of the W, liquid W, and the mass of the liquid L. And then the mass for the liquid W is giving us 200 kilogram per meter cube times the volume, which is 3 meter cube. And this gives us 600 kilogram. That's for the mass of the liquid W. And the mass of the liquid L, we now have 150, 150 kilogram per cubic meter times 7 meter cube, which will now give us 1050 kilogram. That is what it will give us. Now, density of the mixture. Density of the mixture. To find the density of the mixture, we now say that it will now be mass. Remember, density is mass all over volume. So, mass of W plus mass of the liquid L all over volume of the liquid W plus the volume of the liquid L. It will also be equal to 600 kilogram plus 1050 kilogram all over 3 plus 7. And this will give us 165 kilogram per cubic meter. And that is our answer. So the correct option is option B. When a ship sails from salt water into fresh water, the fraction of its volume above the water surface will, the options are A, remain the same, B, increase, C, decrease, while D, increase, then decrease. Okay, to answer this question, we have these two beakers. Yeah? This one will represent our salty water, while this one will represent our fresh water. And then we have the egg, this raw egg. This raw egg will represent the sheep, the sheep that is selling. Now, when this sheep is selling on this salty water, you see the volume submerged and then you see the volume that is up, that is floating. As it sells from here, salty water to the fresh water, let's see what will happen to the volume. Remember, the axis, whether the volume will increase, decrease, or decrease, then increase. So let's see what will happen as I leave the raw egg to drop. You see that the volume actually 
will decrease. So, giving us the right option of option C. Can you see it? Yes. yes Did you yes, understand? Yes, ma'am. Wow. I have a question. All right. Okay, okay. like, yeah. okay, like, do you mean that? Let's say a sheep is traveling on a salty water. Mm -hmm. So that means the sheep will sink in the salty water. What? Is it this? will float in the salty water. Okay. But when it gets to fresh water, it cannot float. It will sink. That's why you have seaports in Lagos, Calabar, while River Niger is yet to be to have to have a functional seaport because river niger the water there is not salty okay. it's not salty okay. so you need the salty water which has higher density higher density so when the density is high it will not be able to make the other things to flow because the chip will not have less density the lesser density so the less the density the more the ship will now float and again another thing remember we treated that in, the, in our earlier video where the ship you created a hollow you make you know the shape of the ship you have to make a hollow so that you have varying air volume volume is also important so the varying air will now help the ship to float in the salt water why in the fresh water is just sink because the fresh water the density is lesser than that of the sheep so that's why the sheep will just sink in the fresh water then, mm -hmm. uh, without salty water does that mean that there won't be water transportation there is the, you still have water transportation you can in lagos they still use cane to transport if you have small small cane even in river Niger, you have Kenya. In the small river, even local jet here, you have Kenya that you can use in the fresh water. But in the sea water, you don't even need anything. Just like the Dead Sea, the Dead Sea that is located between Israel and Jordan. You enter the Dead Sea, you walk as a human being, you walk because it has many minerals inside it. And fish cannot survive there. That's why Dead Sea. That's why it's called Dead Sea. No living thing can survive there. So when you enter it, you see yourself floating, walking on it. Then in the Dead Sea, yeah. You will not sink it. You will not sink. Because the density is higher than your own. And you are just floating. So with that, the option is option C. It will actually, actually decrease. Plastic sphere floats in water density of 1000 kg per cubic meter with 0.5 of its volume submerged and floats in oil with 0.5 volume submerged. The density of the oil is what? Option A, 800 kg per cubic meter. B, 1200 kg per cubic meter. C, 1250 kg per cubic meter. And D, 2000 kg per cubic meter. Now, First of all, we bring out our known parameters. First of all, we start with density. The density of water is given as 1000 kilogram per cubic meter and the volume submerged, the volume of the sphere submerged in the water is given as 0 0.5 the next one the volume of the sphere submerged in oil is equal to 0 0.4 and then we know that mass mass of water mass of water displaced is equal to the volume 
is equal to the volume of sphere is equal to volume of sphere submerged times density and also mass of oil displaced mass of oil displaced is equal to volume of sphere submerged in oil times density of the oil and we are asked to find the density of the oil we are asked to find the density of the oil now since we are using the same sphere since we are using the same sphere we now have the right to say that mass of water displaced is also equal to mass of oil displaced that is mass of water displaced is also equal to mass of oil displaced so doing that if we do that we now have that we first of all now say mass of water displaced is equal to mass of oil displaced displaced and this will give us the mass of water displaced is 0 0.5 times 1000 kilogram per cubic meter that is mass of water displaced is equal to mass of oil displaced which is 0 0.4 times we are looking for the density the density is unknown then we make the density of oil the subject of the formula so if we make it the subject of the formula that is rho let's say the rho for oil we make it the subject of the formula it will now give us 0 0.5 times 1000 all over 0 0.4 so we do our calculation this will give us 1250 kilogram per cubic meter the option the correct option here is option c 5.0 hours to drain a container of 540.0 centimeter cube of water what is the flow rate of water from the container in kilogram per second options a 32.5 B, 31.5, C, 30.8, and D, 30.0. To answer this question properly, we need to know and understand what flow rate is. Now, if I'm to empty this container, as I on the tap, I allow my stopwatch to be going on. Now, after five hours, I'll be able to empty all the water inside this container now what is the flow rate the flow rate the flow rate in this case is now the quantity of water that will come out from here in every second in every second the mass of water the quantity of water that flows out in each second we are able to calculate the quantity of water that will flow out in every second and that is the flow rate and this is the mass all over time okay we go ahead to bring out our parameters the volume is given to us as 540 centimeter cube and then the density we have density to be 1000 kilogram per cubic meter remember density is equal to mass all over volume so we need to find the mass making mass the subject of the formula we now have it to be equal to density 
times volume. So we have, we now have density 1000 times 540 to give us 540000 in kilogram. Then the next thing we do is to find the flow rate and flow rate is equal to mass all over time taken flow rate is equal to mass all over time taken and this is equal to 540 all over 5 hours the time given to us was 5 hours and then they want us to calculate this in kilogram per second so we must change this 5 hours to second so to do that you multiply by 60 and then by 60 also to change to seconds and this will give us 30.0 kilogram per second this will give us 30.0 kilogram per second the option the correct option here is option d a block of ice floats on water inside a container if the block of ice gets completely melted the level of water in the container will dash a increase b remain the same c decrease and d first decrease and then increase. okay to understand this question we first of all look at this beaker see the ice floating on water now by the time it gets completely melted the question is asking us whether the volume of this water will increase decrease or remain the same so for us to answer this let us look at this beaker see the volume the volume is 100 ml now let's put ice into it as we put ice into it the volume has increased the volume has increased so this volume that has increased is the water displaced now by the time the ice will get completely melted the volume as we are having it now will remain the same because it already displaced some water before getting melted so the correct option here is that the volume will remain the same it will remain the same that's the correct option to share like and subscribe thank you